The Arabic language of the Holy Quran, its grammatical use and structural elements are different from everyday language. It has its own word arrangement, word style, unique and different from every other book on the face of the earth. It has the highest quality of stanzas, rhyme, rhythm, diction, repetition, jurisprudence, and metaphor, which are not compared to any book or to any language on the face of the earth of all time. The Holy Quran is such a best book of Almighty God that it sets itself apart from royal recitation of that time and even today and inshallah in future. You won't find any grammatical mistake in the Holy Quran. From 1400 years ago to till now, a lot of people try to find out a single mistake from the Holy Quran but they are not able to find out. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that it is the word of Almighty God. Then it's mentioned in Surah An-Nisa chapter 4 verse 82. Allah said, then do they not reflect upon the Al-Quran if, if it had been from any other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they would have found a lot of discrepancies or a lot of contradiction within it. Allah clearly said, if it is not the word of Almighty God, then surely they would have found a lot of discrepancies within it. So if any religious scripture, it contains a grammatical mistake, contradiction, scientific error, logical error, then it can't be the book of Almighty God or this book can't be attributed to any supernatural power. Except Holy Quran, whatever religious scripture you find on the earth, those all contains contradiction. The Arabic, you know, why it is the word of Almighty God? It doesn't contain any grammatical mistake, any scientific mistake, any logical mistake, any historical mistake. That's why. And uh, it also arranged in such a way which is out of human brain. That's why it is the word of Almighty God. Even in this Holy Quran, you will find many scientific facts. It is a different topic. I won't talk about it right now. It, it, it is a different topic which will come later. People have been astonished reciting the Holy Quran. That's why many people, they converted to Islam. And that's why you see that uh, in Western civilization, there are a lot of the Alhamdulillah, they are trying to spread the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why at first they recommend the pedestrian and also they keep a free Holy Quran without cost. And uh, they give it to them that to recite it. And inshallah, many of them after recitation this Holy Quran, they accept or embarrass Islam easily because it is the word of Almighty God. It is sure. There is no contradiction in it and you know the wording arrangement of the Holy Quran it is not like the normal language it is completely different but suppose it is written in Arabic right the, uh, the Holy Quran is written in Arabic but the word of the Arabic language the sentences are arranged in a way and the words are used which are not used in the regular regular language it's completely different but yet the Arabic peoples, they understand it easily. It is the astonishment of the word of Almighty God. Many people already have said, they claim that it is the book written by Muhammad but actually not. If this book was written by Prophet Muhammad then he would claim that he has written. But he doesn't claim that. He just claimed that this book from Almighty God which have been revealed on me. So, so how can it be that the owner of the Holy Quran, he is denying it? Isn't it a contradictionary? So he is clearly confessing that 
that and he, Allah also clearly said that that say O Muhammad this is the book which has been revealed to me by my Lord here the Prophet Muhammad clearly saying that it is the word of Almighty God so he can't write this type of uh, this type of book 1400 years ago which is a complete astonishment which contains a lot of scientific how it can be that is a normal person living on the desert of Arabia will write such scientific fact such a book which is completely marvelous book compared to any book on the face of the earth and it contains scientific fact it is not possible for a normal person because in that time there were no scientific equipment there were no microscope telescope in that time even any equipment like uh, any equipment like today in that time so the muhammad he can't be the author of this book there must be any such supernatural person who is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah composed this book allah revealed this book on prophet muhammad it's mentioned in surah al furqan chapter 25 verse 5 and 6 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that they say legends of the former peoples which he has written down and are dictated to him morning in the morning and in the day right allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that they claim that uh, prophet has this prof, uh, this person has written this book then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that say o muhammad it has been revealed by he who knows secret within the heavens and the earth indeed he is ever forgiving and merciful allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly is saying that this is the book has been revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa said to say to Muhammad. So this is a clear astonishment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said in uh, Surah Yasin chapter 36 verse 69 and 17. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, And we did not give him the knowledge of poetry nor is befitting for him it is not but a message and a clear quran to one whoever is alive and justify the word against the disbelievers so many people they claim that this is the book of literature but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that no this is the book this is not the book of literature this is a clear warning and it's a clear message and muhammad can't uh, it is not possible for Muhammad to write this kind of book. So Allah clearly stated that this is the word of Almighty God. And now let's jump in the Holy, uh, Holy Quran. Why this Holy Quran is completely different than every other books, than every other recitation of this world. For example, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillah in the name of Allah. Do we use this word in our everyday language? No, we do not use. We do not say th say this that uh, in the name of this person, in the name of this person. No, so it doesn't match with the regular language. And also, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. All praise be to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. All praise be to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Do we say that all praise be to He or all praise be to She? No, so we do not use in our regular language. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, most gracious, most merciful, we do not say uh, to any person or to address any person, most gracious, most merciful, no, we do not say so. Malik Yawmidin, owner of the day of judgment, yeah, have you heard something like this that uh, he is owner of the day or owner of the day of judgment, no, it's a completely different. You, you worship and to you and to and to you, we only ask it. There is no word we use in our regular life that we only worship you and to we to you we only ask aid. No, we ask aid to different person, many person, but we don't specifically ask help to any person. Rather, we only ask help to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala only. We ask help to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala only. Whatever we require, we just want to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So look, the more you will read, the more you will get many marvelous sentence verse in the holy quran it is a sign of almighty god so that's why 
that's why this Quran itself sets apart from well respected recitation of all time. It clearly states that it is the word of Almighty God. There's no doubt in it. Allah said in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 2, Allah said, Jali kal kitabu da raiba fi hi hudalil muttaqin. This is the book about which there's no guidance. Uh, sorry, this is the book about which there's no doubt a guidance for those who are conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is why people claimed, you know, uh, reading this Holy Quran, they, when this Quran dazzled their eyes, they say, no, no, this is the book of literature. What a nice book. It is a completely literature, uh, literature a book of literature. Then Allah SWT said, no, no, it is not the book of literature. It's a, a clear message. Al-Quran, a guidance for whole humankind.